Yes. Is it absolutely certain that our conception of morality is the same thing as what God's morality from his nature comes from? I, hypothetically. Oh, this is the epistemological question yeah. again that, that Walter raised. Is it absolutely certain that our conception of morality is the same as God's? And I, I think the answer would be no. Uh, but there's no reason to think that we need absolute certainty. Uh, we are fallible beings. We are fallen beings. And therefore, our moral perceptions may be terribly flawed in many cases. And that's what moral growth is all about. Uh, if you've experienced moral growth in your life, you can look back at some of your attitudes in the past and think, oh my goodness, how could I have been so blind? I, I can say in my own life, I think that my attitude toward women has changed from when I was a younger man, such that some of the attitudes that I had once, I would now look back on with shame. Um, and so I think I've had moral growth in that area in my life. So, no, I, I don't think our moral perceptions are infallible or absolutely certain. Maybe that's one reason we need divine revelation in, in the scriptures, to help us see those values that aren't as clear, perhaps, as they would be. The, the Bible says in Romans 1 that God's moral law is written on our hearts, so that even Gentiles who don't have the law do by nature what the law requires. Uh, that's Romans 2.15. But, nevertheless, we're fallen, we're fallible, we can go wrong, and uh, sometimes we may need additional divine revelation to see the right way. So, uh, hypothetically, let's say that there was some revelation that God sent to us that said that, in actuality, his salvific plan intends for us to disobey the Ten Commandments. Uh -huh. Would it then be moral or immoral to, like, murder or...? Well, it, it would... It would depend on whether or not, of course, it was a genuine revelation. Sure, on, obviously. In my view, our moral duties are uh, constituted by God's commands. And so I think God can command us to do something which in the absence of a command would have been a sin. For example, God commanded Abraham to sacrifice his son Isaac. Now, if Abraham had done that on his own initiative, that would have been murder to, to take your son and sacrifice him. In fact. God condemned the Canaanites because they practiced child sacrifice in worship to him. So if Abraham had done this on his own initiative, it would have been a horrid sin. But God commanded Abraham to sacrifice Isaac, and therefore it was not murder for Abraham to do what God had commanded him to do. Uh, but obviously, in cases like this, you had better be pretty darn sure that the command is really from God. Uh, otherwise, you could be like Andrea Yates, you know, and, and be following your own psychological um, distortions yeah. into doing something that God does not approve of.